Michael Matthews may now have relinquished the race lead, but the Giro d'Italia has been one to remember for the 23-year-old. The Australian proved his welter achievements from last year were no fluke, winning a stage and clinging on to top spot in the general classification for just short of a week. But with a Maliad also comes a weight of expectation and responsibility. In cycle headed to Foligno to find out more about the post-race routine of the leader in the pack. Having made the long haul trek to be in Foligno, the Aussie fans are expectant, hoping the peloton reels in the break to secure another day in pink for their countrymen. The race does indeed come down to a bunch sprint. While Frenchman Dasser Bouani takes the victory, Matthews places fourth to retain the race leadership for what proves to be the final stage. The race organisers watch the action in a marquee backstage and have mere minutes to print and press all the jerseys for the podium presentation. For Michael Matthews, it's a case of negotiating the entourage of photographers to go and join the celebration. After each stage, the organisers have to ensure that a carefully orchestrated protocol is carried out to please all the jersey sponsors and dignitaries. While Matthews has won several stages since turning pro in 2010, the Giro is the first time he's collected a jersey on the podium and experienced the fanfare that comes with it. With the blue King of the Mountains jersey and the best young rider's white jersey also in his possession, Matthews is kept back at the finish much longer than his teammates, answering questions in the mixed zone. As race leader, he's burdened with the responsibility of discussing the race's countless crashes and the much maligned topic of doping. And the anti-doping mobile is the next port of call for the Australian as he makes his way through the masses of fans gathered to congratulate him at the finish. With guards manning the complex, it's one of the least glamorous aspects of the post-race tasks. 5.55 p.m., almost one hour after the race finish, and Matthews is finally clear of his responsibilities as the wearer of the Maglia Rosa. Not quite nine to five, but the 23-year-old won't be complaining.